Welcome, welcome, Raisin Roans Ranch Nation. Boy, have I got a good topic for you guys today. I am Sunday Blue, and this is part one of two of Color Genetics Gray Gene Misconceptions. I am using my mare, Blue Valentine Cleo, as the one that will be demonstrated from an age progression point of view. Here we have her as a foal, Blue Roan, that's the way she was presented to me. Uh, brought her home thinking the first mare in my Blue Valentine Joe Hancock breeding program was a Blue Roan. Uh, as the years continued, this was 2007. As the years rolled by, I realized through educating myself online about the breed, the genetics, and so forth, that if a foal has a gray parent, that the gray gene can be passed down. So uh, I tested her, and sure enough, she had one copy of the gray gene. Now we're going to talk about uh, physical appearances, being able to tell, and in Cleo's circumstances, between the ages of two and three, she started to lose her base color. So first thing I noticed was her tail. The bottom of her tail started to lighten up and turn kind of a pea-stained yellow color. There you see it right there. Uh, the next thing that you're gonna notice probably simultaneously is around the eyes. Uh, she will lose her black. Her base color was black base, so she started to lose the black around the eyes, and then the cornet bands started to lose pigmentation there as well. Uh, it is a process and it takes several years and each year she just changed even more and it was like the many colors of a gray roan, basically. So when you have a foal, someone very likely may tell you that they're graying out without even knowing. And we're gonna go over that more in part two. As far as Cleo's concerned, she got one gray gene from her dam. So there are two terms you need to be familiar with, homozygous and heterozygous. Homozygous means uh, <clears throat> that a horse has two copies of a gene. Heterozygous it means that a horse has one copy. So if your horse is homozygous for a gene, they're gonna pass that 100% of the time. I don't care if it's roan, I don't care if it's gray, a goody, whatever. If they are homozygous, they have two copies and will always pass one. If they're heterozygous, they're gonna pass that gene 50% of the time. Now that's 50% of each breeding, not the overall end calculation of how many uh, foals that particular in Cleo's case, Mare has over her lifetime. The gray gene cannot skip a generation. Keep that in mind. It's very important because people will say, oh, so-and-so has a gray gene in the third line of the pedigree, so that horse is going to turn gray. That is incorrect. You must have a parent with the gray gene for it to be passed down. Keep in mind, just because you have an AQHA certificate with a color on it does not mean that that horse is that color. Think about it. Who registers that horse? The breeder. The breeder may or may not have a clue about color genetics, so they just register the horse what they think that color is at the time. It is going to be the buyer's responsibility or the new owner's responsibility to find out what color that horse really is and correctly representate it. Another misconception is People think that all roan horses eventually gray out. That is just not true. Uh, you have to have a gray parent and pass the gray gene down for a horse to gray out. A roan horse will not gray out unless it has the gray gene. Now you may see roan horses with overly roan faces. And people will say that horse is going to to gray out. Well, no, you just have a line that has excessive roaning in the face. Uh, clear and simple. 
So it really takes knowledge and hands-on experience to be able to tell the difference between one that's got roan in the face and one that possibly graying out. There you see color results for Cleo's filly that she has on her side right now. I just wanted to show you what the color genetic symbols look like. Here you see a Blue Valentine Cleo on all breed. The reason I wanted to show you that is you can be able to look and see that there was gray coming down in the pedigree. Now if you see it stopped, that's just because somebody didn't know the color of that horse. But when I am doing research on a horse, I will pull up the all breed and see if there is gray anywhere in back in the pedigree. And then you just kind of know that there may or may not, um, that gray may or may not have made it all the way down. And you can always tell by testing. $25 UC Davis or um, Animal Genetics, the link's below in the description. That is really the only way to be able to tell if a foal is going to gray out. Now, once that horse, you know, becomes two to three years old and you start looking for all those signs that I taught you about in this video, then you will have a pretty good idea. Uh, it's always best to test because you just want to represent your horse properly if you're selling it. I highly advise you not to go to a public platform like Facebook and post a picture of a foal that you uh, know has a gray parent and ask if that foal's going to gray out. There is a term that I like to use called the gray Nazis, and it is people out there on Facebook who believe that they are color experts, and they will look at that baby, and they may see uh, gray goggles around the eyes, or they may think that the coat is hyperpigmented. I will be explaining in part two how that's not necessarily correct.